Brought to you by Birkenrode Reports at the Tulane University Freeman School of Business. PetroQuest Energy, Rebuilding Growth. My name is Thomas Fox, and today me and my teammates, Juan Sebastian Carvajal, Sebastian Paneso, and Juan Ferrero are going to take you through our investment report on PetroQuest. Our agenda will consist of a company overview, a valuation, a company description, an industry analysis, an investment thesis, a summary, and a disclaimer. PetroQuest is an independent oil and gas exploration and production company that explores and develops oil and gas fields onshore and offshore in the Gulf Coast region and mid continent United States. PetroQuest currently holds stakes in the Gulf Coast, Southern Louisiana, Oklahoma, Wyoming, and Texas. We give PetroQuest Energy a rating of market outperform. We anticipate the stock will increase by 44.23% for a 12-month target price of $6. This graph shows the volatility of PetroQuest stock price in the last five years. The following presentation will show why we believe the stock will outperform. Now we are going to talk about the valuation. We estimated this target price by using two valuation techniques commonly used for EMP companies. PV10 net asset valuation and enterprise value over barrels of oil equivalent peer comparison. For the PV10, we estimated production, commodity prices, and costs for the three following years, and we discounted them using a 10% discount rate. For the any enterprise value over barrels of oil equivalent valuation, we found this ratio for five of PetroQuest peers and used the average of this multiple to calculate PetroQuest share price. We also calculated the PV10 for five and eight years, but we decided not to include these values into our valuation because of the uncertainty of success in exploration that far into the future. Now I'm going to talk about PetroQuest company description, starting with the key indicators. PetroQuest has a market capitalization of $268.25 million, an enterprise value of $637.6 million, Approved reserves of 38 million barrels of oil equivalent. The reserve composition is primarily in gas at 86.4%, with the remaining 13.6% in oil. And gas production is at 112 million cubic feet per day. Now I will talk about PetroQuest's locations of production. PetroQuest has four main locations of production. The Mid-Continent, East Texas, the Gulf Coast Legacy, and the Gulf Coast Acquisition. The reserves are mainly located in the mid-continent, but the production is more evenly distributed in the different locations. The locations with the smaller reserves are producing a higher portion of their reserves, specifically the Gulf Coast Legacy and the Gulf Coast Acquisition. To finalize the company description, I will talk about the management plans for the short term. PetroQuest has four main goals in their short-term strategy. Control over capital expenditure, exploration and production focused on oil acquisition of new fields, and control over production. This can be summarized in the following. PetroQuest knows that they have many gas assets and there are no trends indicating an increase in price. So they are going to relocate their financial expenditure to oil and natural gas producing wells. PetroQuest believes that more diversified reserves will protect them from the high risk of dry gas markets. Moving on to the industry analysis. Natural gas prices, unlike oil prices, are determined by local demand and supply. The technological progress on hydraulic fracking and the recent techniques of horizontal drilling cause a significant increase of the reserves of natural gas in the U.S. This increase of the supply and the decrease of the demand during the 2008 crisis caused natural gas prices to decline. This downward trend has remained during the last five years. After the gradual recovery of the world economies and the outstanding performance of big emerging economies such as China and India, the oil demand is currently increasing. According to the International Energy Agency, the oil demand will increase by 1.2 million barrels per day by 2015 and will reach the 7.4 barrels per day set by 2030. This significant increase in the demand requires a large investment by producing countries to expand their capacity and increase the supply. The large demand will push prices up and will encourage producers to make the necessary investment. Next is an overview of the investment thesis methodology. 1. Woodford Shale and Next Era Joint Venture Reduces Costs and Expands Profits. 2. 
South Louisiana Gulf Coast legacy replicates La Cantera's success and shows great revenue potential. 3. Gulf of Mexico acquisition brings steady cash flows to fund onshore development. 4. Gas production on hold reduces capital expenditures. In May 2010, PetroQuest and NextEra announced a joint venture agreement. NextEra is an energy company that operates in the electricity utilities industry. The agreement specified that NextEra had a 50% interest in PetroQuest's developed and undeveloped Woodford acreage. In the deal, PetroQuest received a total of $128 million. NextEra offered $54 million to PetroQuest, which covered 80% of the costs in the project, for a 50% working interest. The joint venture is beneficial to PetroQuest because it shields the company from 80% of the tangible cost risk associated with drilling wells. Another benefit is that NextEra is covering much of the costs. Thus, PetroQuest does not need to take on an amount of debt that it would have had to had it gone into the plays alone. In February 2012, management announced that PetroQuest had begun production on 10 wells in the Woodford Shale, with an average initial production rate of 5.1 million cubic feet per day. PetroQuest aims to drill 20 more wells targeting the liquids-rich area of the Woodford Shale. PetroQuest is close to a potential discovery with a material effect on its future production, similar to the La Cantera discovery in the past. La Cantera 1 and La Cantera 2 added 105 billion cubic feet of proved reserves to PetroQuest's assets. The next big project in the region is Thunder Bayou, a well with 110 billion cubic feet in gross proved reserves. The company has plans to begin producing at Thunder Bayou in the fourth quarter of 2013. In June 2013, PetroQuest announced an agreement to purchase shallow water Gulf of Mexico oil producing wells for $193 million. This agreement gives PetroQuest ownership of a large oil reserve that will increase cash flows. The company estimates that the reserves will have a PV10 value of approximately $278 million. PetroQuest increased its cash flows because of the Gulf of Mexico acquisition in July 2013. This will allow an increase in capital expenditures. Management states that the company will use the free cash flows from the Gulf of Mexico acquisition to fund resource development in other properties, such as the Woodford Shale and Cotton Valley. PetroQuest's gas-producing regions are currently being held constant in their production because the company has covered the minimum requirements to keep its gas reserves for the next 10 years. This decision will remain in effect until an increase in production becomes profitable. The price of gas needed to make increased production economical is estimated to be between $4.50 and $6. The majority of PetroQuest's producing fields are gas, however, the company is taking the appropriate steps to refocus its current allocation towards liquids. To conclude our presentation, I'll give the highlights of our report. PetroQuest's overall production is still focused on gas and they are taking the appropriate actions to refocus their production into liquids. We expect gas prices to remain low while prices of liquids will rise over time. We expect that the recent acquisition from the Gulf of Mexico will provide the cash flows needed to finance the refocus into liquids. We feel confident about our $6 stock price target. The Birkin Road reports are produced solely as part of an educational program of Tulane University's A.B. Freeman School of Business. The reports are not investment advice. Investors should not regard the presentation as recommendation to sell or buy any securities mentioned. Investors should consult an investment professional and or conduct your own primary analysis before making any investment decision.